you Left them never knew Right down the avenue Shake is the latitude Blessed is the gratitude To firm to the test Never move Time to at your neck Do you check Are you prepped Are your boots From grassroots to pass through I really do The feel work like a moo So if I is the source You is the two The idea started like a seed Then it grew Something you could choose Swimming on a low Cause you know People that must do Never left the flow So to grow I become the food With a little force No remorse We can make a move now they do. We create the path That we're tunneling Not stumbling Ten things that we're juggling Done struggling Hard work but the muscle in Push down to come up Is the pedaling Go meddling Keep spitting Heart pumping Who's quitting Keep flying Keep pushing Go all in With no cushion Keep busting Keep bringing Let's dig in Keep kicking Keep jumping Are you willing To leave nothing We winning Perfect You got a lot of grace? Hey. Hi How are you? Good Good. Come baby Hey teach me it I can see I can hear okay, Let me get a picture of What's going on um, in there This is the kids club Kids club yeah kids club. Summer's kids club Yeah Hey, 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 they sent you in here as a little decoy, yeah, innit? Like, it's going to them up, man. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening, people? It's me, Hunty, back again for another episode. And we're finally back in the league today after our treble winning cup run where we managed to win the League Cup, the VFA Cup, and most importantly, the London Cup, all in the space of two and a half weeks. We only have four league games left and currently sit in fifth position. Unfortunately, we can't win the league this season, but we can finish fourth and possibly third if results go our way. But we must take maximum points points from our four remaining games if we want to stand any chance of making that. Today we face second from bottom Alex FC who we get on very well with but they have been struggling for players for most of the season hence their current position in the table. But we are struggling with players ourselves this week as playing four games in 14 days has taken its toll on a lot of our players including between the sticks where we haven't got a keeper this week so the generals had to step up. And even our gaffer Aki might make a very rare appearance on the pitch. And that gives you an idea of how much we're struggling today. So let's get straight on with it, shall we? Yeah! First one's pace. Pace, I give myself seven and a half. Awareness. Awareness, I would say eight and a half. Decision making. I would say seven and a half. Last one, being a team player. Ten. But on, on the pace, I don't see someone getting past me. I don't see someone getting past me. What present or old player would you most like in yourself? I would say, I'm, I'm not an Arsenal fan, but I would say Thomas Partey. Why? I just like the way, when he gets the ball, he wins the ball, he makes sure that the, the, the midfield is just calm, collected, and then we'll receive and pass the ball on. So I think when Partey's on the ball for Arsenal, it's a big difference, and that's what I like to bring to the table as well. What advice would you give the younger you now? Just to be confident, just believe in yourself, and, and just, just explore, explore on the pitch. Don't be afraid, just enjoy yourself on the pitch. Who do you think the best player in the team is? Let's see if you answer these ones quickly. Who's the best player in the team? Yeah. Do you know what? I haven't been around as much, but the first person that comes to mind is, is actually B. Brian. I like, like the way he tries to bulldog, bulldoze people and control the, the midfield. And I, I, like, I like people that try to dictate and control midfield. Who do you think the worst player in the team is? The worst yourself. player. Worst player in the team. I have to watch the day. If you ask me after the match, I'll tell you. <laughs> so whose voice do you hear when you're playing football in your head? One of my old gaffers called Alan. Alan Rolnick and he was always just telling me just enjoy yourself, be confident, enjoy yourself, be confident. Once, once I get into that mold, mold and that mindset, they they know stopping me. So that, that's the voice that always comes to comes to, comes to my head. Yes, thank you for that. Love bro. I love that. Yes. You think so? Oh you know so. Eight zero. Okay. Why did DJ help? I think um, Caden's football, I think. Oh, okay. I think. Oh, he got injured last week, though, didn't he? Cut final. Yeah, come on. <laughs> he come off. Final. Yeah, but what was it? No, he got. His knee. He's like no, an no, impact kicked, injury, no, isn't it? He kicked the floor. Yeah, yeah. His knee. So, yeah, it makes sense. Pussy, or anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Lightweight. I said to him, he needs to for next season. He needs to get fit. in the gym, though. No, no, no he needs to. You know what it is? Dwayne, the way D plays, because he's agile already, if D was to add a bit of like, like mu not muscle, but do you know what I mean? You see me? I, back then, I was quick, right? But then I started going to gym. It didn't slow me down, but the way I play, it affects the, do you know what I mean? Yeah, the little yeah. tiny things. But then with him, if he goes gym, because of his height, because of his height and him playing like a striker, backing into it, it'll be so much more different. Because he'll still keep his pace. But remember, this whole season, he's been playing unfit and injured. Yeah, but that's because he, he didn't... He didn't have the whole season off. 
Yeah, bro, but you better think about uh, running around. <laughs> Don't worry, you see my warm up later. Are you not starting? No. I can't. Do you want me to collapse, bro? I need everyone to get tired first and then come on. Now, me and Drizzy, me and Drizzy on the bench. He's done a lot of running, man, the past couple of weeks. So let him relax a bit, go and have a bit of fun. Okay, last one. I sure did it. Yeah, I should, yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> right, boys, quick, we're going to do a team talk. Hey, right, anyway, look, I haven't got much to say, man. Uh, let's go out, let's play our football. Obviously, it's a different, different team today, isn't it? Because we ain't got players. But everyone knows what we need to do. Let's just keep the ball, play, good surface. We don't need to force anything. And yeah, let's just have fun today, man. Like, obviously, the, seat, the league. Nick, what are we playing for again? Third place? Fourth, fourth, fourth? definitely. Possibly third, depending on uh, the goals. Yeah. If we can get that, it would be nice. Obviously, it would have been nice to win the league. But let's just try and do that. But everyone knows what, they got, what, what we're going out here to do. And it's just communicate, man. Communicate with each other and have a bit of fun with it today. Yeah, boys? Yeah? yeah, yeah. So let's just go out and do our thing, man. Come on. Come on. Come on, boys. Show your facts. And we're off in this away league fixture to Alex FC. And for me personally, today's the first time I've felt zero pressure on the game as the last six weeks have been so intense with all our cup runs. And as you know, we won all three competitions. And for me, only ever having played grassroots football, this is without doubt the greatest ever season I've had. And I'm 48 years old. <laughs> right, enough of that boring monologue. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Just over a minute gone, LT received the ball off a noose. And it is great to see LT back playing on the pitch after having missed out in the London Cup final due to injury as he makes the game tick in the midfield area. And as you can see in his first couple of minutes, we're just popping the ball around nicely. We've done now. Addy, back to LT. LT to Nutty, who gets his first touch of the game. With Wes now. LT, again, as he spots little Chris, AKA Fat Messi's run. And one shot, one goal. And it's great to see little Chris back on the score sheet after being away for the last few weeks. And just have a look at this build-up play here. Beautiful! And with only a couple of minutes gone, we take a 1-0 lead. And that's the perfect start in our quest for all three points today. And for those of you who follow South London Sunday League football, that's Big Andy Dallas on the ball, the action manager. A very good player, as you'll see throughout this game. As Alex FC are just getting a feel for the ball here with their quick passing. But then Johnny says, I'm going to put a stop to that, as we manage to win the ball back. And over on the far side, it's little Chris versus their player, Ray Train. Fake. <laughs> Sorry, Chris, you know the rules. If you do it, goes in. But all of a sudden, it's three versus two here. As Dallas picks it up on the edge of our box. Tosties. And then completely does LT and Nottie. Gets his shot off. The general fumbles it, but manages to get hold of it at the second time of asking. <laughs> but let's just have another little look back at this bit of skill. Perfect. That was a decent effort, to be fair, and especially when you've got a makeshift keeper out there. And that's Chris on the ball with their player tugging him back as we win our first free kick of the game. With Nukes on the ball, looking at it with intent. As the keeper sees it late, he spills it. Can Wes get there? Nope. So that's Alex playing it out from the back with their left back on the ball. That's it, Nick. Brilliant, aren't he? Yes, aren't he? Bro. Honey, come on, up, get involved, please. <laughs> hey, yeah, no one's immune from the cameras, even myself, because it's Don now one-on-one -on -one with their number nine. But in these situations, there's only going to be one winner, as Don's been outstanding since we signed him back in October, as he calmly brings the ball away to Chris, with Chris having his first run at their right back. And all of a sudden, there's three on one. But he spots Naughty on the edge of the box, who in turn spots Wiz. And that's a decent shot there by Wiz. And I've just got to say, Alex FC, just like us, have got a makeshift goalkeeper in goal today. He's an outfield player, just like the general. So that was a good save there from Wiz. But then just as I'm bigging him up, he makes a mistake. As Naughty pounces on it. And that's Chrissy Theo on the ball. He shoots. The keeper saves it, but he spills it right into my path. I don't want to get... As we take a 2-0 lead. 
And that was an awkward one for the keeper as he bats just before him. As I get the simplest of tappings to make it 20 goals for the season. Oh. And you can see how much it means to me as I ain't hit 20 in years. <laughs> I mean, you've got to get at least 25 today then. And who better to celebrate my goal with than my daughter LG? Honey, you're doing what, do you know what you're doing today? Because you know it's an easier game, you're doing the most basic things which is working for you. Yeah. And the thing is, yeah, it's mad, because he's not playing as easy winger. No. But he's do, because yeah, he's right more comfortable, yeah. he's doing all the right and things. He's chucking back. Yeah. He's, he's and that's what he asks of every single week. It's mad. He's getting the ball, taking the touch and passing it straight back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not trying to just turn and... Yeah, yeah. But I guess, obviously, we've won stuff in it, so he feels a bit more... More confident. But that's how it It's the mentality, though. Yeah, you need to tell yourself you're a winner straight. Exactly, exactly. 12 minutes gone, we're tuning up. And oh yeah, does anyone want to see a good old-fashioned vet's footy tackle? <laughs> Lovely! As Dane, their captain and a very good player, puts the slam on Notty as he tries to get the crossover, but the general's there. But then the rest give him a free kick for a reported handball on Johnny. And for the first time today, let's get the pad shot VAR on this, shall we? Yep, no complaints there. Good spot by the ref. So now we've got a dangerous free kick to deal with. As he's fired in. I can't see what happened. Did the general save it? But their player failed to hit the target on the rebounded shot. But on the action replay, it come off of their tall manager, Paul. And then their number seven failed to hit the target. Hey. What, Arrow saved it? I don't know who saved it. It took a couple of rebounds and deflections. Oh, so yeah, again today, a lively start from both teams. And then number nine just accidentally catches Don in the face as the ref allows play to go on and he gets his shot off. And then Don mops up. So come on, talk to me, man. Like, has it sunk in yet? What, what the trophies? London Cup team. Do you know what? It's weird. The London yeah. Cup is the big one. Come on, yeah. without that one, we no, wouldn't have that is, much to talk about. But I feel like, for me, I'm, I'm one of those people, I can't hold on to the moment. Once it's gone, it's gone. And then I'm, I start thinking about, nah, man, I wish we won the league. Of course. That's all. For me... It would have felt sweeter, like, Us not official, winning the league and winning the cup makes us look like a cup team. Do you get it? No, no, it does. Because if you think about it, we've come, if we come second in the league, yeah. then cool. But the fact is, we beat teams. LSU are going to win their league. No, it's not, not that. No, I'm saying, oh, they're in the... They're in, they're in the, it, they're, yeah, yeah, they're but that's what I'm saying. They're in a the running. Yeah. We're far rough house. Mm. So for me, people will look at it and be like, run the cups, yeah? But when they look at the league position and the points, they'll be like, it makes the teams in our league look far better than the teams yeah, that we've beaten. No, no, but I think, I think looking at the big picture, it actually makes our the league whole... look better. Exactly. 100%. It makes it look like, oh, hold on, so what, don't any of those teams enter yeah. in the London Cup? I personally Cup? think, <laughs> South, like I said to Nicky, I don't think any of the South teams will do as well in our league as they would in their league. That's what I'm saying. Not saying that they're good. No, yeah, but good the style or bad. Of play is but yeah, definitely. Over here, it's about mm, like That's we what play I'm football saying. and it's different style. Mm, like, whereas there, it's nice. Everyone wants to look nice. Everyone ex pro so it's too much respect. Like you can't tackle my man because he's comfortable. That's his. That's his budget, man. You know that, I mean? Yeah, that's his. Uh, yeah. So I don't think. I think Fuck football wise, though, if everyone was playing nice football, yeah, they'll do well. But overall, they wouldn't. Yeah. I don't, like I was saying, I don't charcoal. Charcoal's the only thing that I think will do well in our league. So now Dane, their captain, trying to G up the players as they're desperately looking to get that goal that will get them back into the game. And he's managed to get hold of the ball again as the general easily gathers that one up. Come on. <laughs> Camera's oh. always watching, yeah. bro. No, Even when you think it's not, you say it was moving with you, you get it? I could feel it. <laughs> it was gone. No, it's been, it would have been nice to be higher up in the league, but... Yeah, that's what he was just moaning about just now, Tony. Next yeah, that's the thing. Now, now you know. Yeah. Mm. To be fair, I didn't think we would do this well this season. Like, when I say I didn't think we would do this well, I mean, I knew we'd win something. But to win all three cups and then the biggest yeah. cup, it's like, all right, that's cool. what I'm saying. That's like Champions League in a way. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 100. That ends as well. Bro, you're sweet. Yeah, it's so sweet. I'm like, at the end, everyone was going, East London, East yeah. <laughs> And it's always good to see Merv over here. And for those who have followed our journey from the start, he was our very first manager. As I desperately try to get onto the ball from Notting. And again, Alex are trying to bring the ball out from the back. And again, we're pressing them hard, forcing them into a mistake. As I sky the ball over the fence. And then two minutes later, I get hold of the ball. <laughs> then get smashed off the ball. As then number nine picks the ball up. Plays it back to Dallas, as everything seems to be going through him for their attacks. And what a ball to their captain, Dane. But look who's there in the right place at the right time. It's done. So 32 minutes gone, and we're actually sweltering in this heat, as it's 25 degrees out there, as it's LT picking the ball up in the middle. And how about this for vision? As he lays the ball over to myself, and I'm on side here, as I spot 93. 
As he tries to get the ball from under his feet, he shoots. It's blocked. They try and clear it. He gets hit in the nuts. And then the ball falls to Theo. And that's 3-0. Hey. Okay. And that was an almighty goal map scramble there as Naughty gets hit full force in the nether regions. And as Chris hits the back of the net, Naughty hey. gets the assist. <laughs> hey. No, how you got that shot? Goal. Yes! Hey, right, Naughty, what's wrong? Your balls? Ah. Yeah, he got hit. <laughs> Act warm up. Yeah, right. <laughs> so all the threes, 33 minutes gone, 3 nil up. And oh yeah, Wes, if you're watching, look away now, mate. Posty! Taxi! <laughs> Sorry, Wes, you know the rules. If you do it, it goes in. And straight away, we've got some defending to do here. But then number seven up against Johnny. But he whips it over. The number nine with the header. And that was a relatively easy save for the general. So five minutes to go to half time and we're coming forward again. With Naughty looking for the one, two. But I've already got my head down wanting to shoot. And then I f*** it up. Sorry, Naughty. So with eight seconds left of normal time, how about this for a pass from LT? And I'm clean through here, but the rest blown up for offside. And from the pan shot VAR, you can see I'm about two yards onside. But in fairness to the ref, they ain't got no lino, so he's having to make the call all on his own. Dave, never, never. Ref, he was well onside. Ref, he was well onside. Hey, ref. We're not, we're not half time, here to cheat, Half time, ref. half time, half time. <laughs> Come. Yeah, I'm gonna go and take my moment. I'm supposed to take her out today, but I, oh, okay. I ain't seen her for I ain't seen her for time. I need to see her. I can use the minutes anyway, bro. Huh? I can use the minutes. Yeah, man, yeah. Bad time you guys want it. Hey, you see who's like that? You guys judging me. This guy, this guy used to play with me, yeah? Chris, tell him, this guy used to play with me, yeah? And he knew if I wasn't on the pitch, we weren't having a good game. Tell the, the truth. truth. With Apsa, tell the truth. Because I want to stay here. I'm going to tell you the Absolutely truth. Absolutely the truth. Absolutely the truth. <laughs> Absolutely the truth. <laughs> you know the right answer to say, my friend. All right, <laughs> boys, listen. Hey, you're doing well. Obviously, it is one of them games. Look, we're playing because we've got mad confidence. Let's be honest. It's just, we're making this game easier. Like, we're on the sideline. I'm watching. I'm like, bro, we're actually playing, at times, the most basic, mm. the most simplest football. In the middle, you just, like, just popping it between each other. Shit. No, huh? We're playing shit. We're playing shit. To our level, no, but what I'm saying is the basics. No, you're talking about the last 10 minutes. Yeah, last minutes. 10, when we first, first started, first in terms of half you like popping the ball the around in the middle, you use LT. Beautiful. And yeah, but it's down to the fact that, look, we are where we are. It's 3 0. We're 3 0 up on a great service, on a great surface. So yeah, we will take the piss. But like I said from the beginning, don't overdo it. When you came to play football, it's we want to play football on a Saturday, right? We want to have fun on a Saturday. Forget the fact that we won three cups. It's still the same thing. We're here on a Saturday. We want to play football, enjoy the football. <coughs> Let's do that on the pitch. The cups are done now. We got nothing to prove to no one but ourselves. Let's just go out there and play football and enjoy ourselves. So into the second half we go. We've only one sub being made. Chris coming off with Driz. And almost straight away from the kickoff is Alex. With Aaron forced to make the save. And oh yeah, I forgot to say earlier, if you're wondering why there's no goal cam footage, someone forgot to turn the cameras on for the second time in six weeks. Huh? <laughs> And in the opening minutes, Alex have come out firing. With Dallas just on the edge of our box, lays it across to the danger man and Captain Dane, who shoots. You at least get a shot off, right? I don't want to, you come off the pitch with no shots here. Yeah. You just not carry on, <laughs> When I do with certain players, yeah. don't, I'll go on Redgrave's side and just embarrass Redgrave. <laughs> yeah, please do. do. I think Red's going to have you up, Don't bro. make me do that. When I make him drop on the floor, he drop a little shoulder. <laughs> get me, I'll score and I'll bring myself back off. Simple. And after getting a telling off from Nooch for not getting back and tracking my man, I'm back this time, but this pass here from Dallas leaves me in no man's land. And Dana Captain gets a goal back. Hadouken! Hadouken! And like I said before, these first few minutes of the second half, they've come out firing with a precision header from their captain, and they're back in the game. So 48 minutes gone, 3-1. Game on. As Jindal gets his first touch since coming on at half time, and a quick first time pass from Chris and his wig through. Can he restore our three goal lead? Nope. So, with 50 minutes gone on the clock, we welcome back Mikel, who's taking over goalkeeping duties from Aaron. As he's their defender with a big kick. And it's been all Alex this half, and again they're coming forward, putting us under pressure. And it's their number seven again, up against Johnny again. And them two are having a good battle out there today, but his shot fails to hit the target. Are you going to go for Addy, yeah? 
So as the general's kitted up, he's getting ready to come on. As then number nine makes a challenge, and Addy just pulls up with a bad back. And Alex has got the ball now with Dowas. What a strike off the ball! It's an easy game, so he's not. Fuck off. Because it's an easy game, he's not on it. As Addy stays down here, and he's going to have to come off for Aaron. Um, your crutch is here. You alright, bro? No, no, it's me. I did my own spine. I am, Al, remember, Al, Brian's not here either. So the general's having to play another position today, midfield, from his usual centre half position. As Wisner tries to get the flick to Dries and he gets through, steaming past our ex player, Redgrave. <laughs> hey! As the Alex defenders clear his cross, can he get a second bite of the cherry? He can't, but he wins a free kick. And Dries has decided to take the free kick. And you know what's coming now, don't you? And what a free kick out of seemingly nothing! And somehow finds that back corner! And that's top bins, my friends! And with 29 minutes left to play, Dries restores our free goal lead, making it 4 1 to us! But again, it's Dowhouse with a pinpoint pass! But thankfully for us, Mikel ah. see it all the way! And that's Mikel with a big kick! And as the ball falls to myself, I've just kicked the ball funny and aggravated an old ankle injury. And along with some tired legs, that's me done for the day. Yeah, he's done. Five, five, it, just join off. Really. He's done. Oh, is it? Uh, Told you to warm up. You don't want to listen, see? You thought we had all the time in the world. Yeah, you need to get that air in your lungs, bro. <laughs> Are you going to Yeah, play? ref sub, yeah? <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're replacing my Why are you dad. I just caught my ankle and I was like, oh, on my cheek, on my cheek. Oh, there oh, comes your personal assistant. Yeah, he won't get it back on. Yeah. He won't be able to walk. So we're down to 10 men at the moment as Akin's not ready. And it's their number nine again who's been proper lively for him. And forces Mikel oh. into another good save. And then the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Ads. Yeah, no, How did the socks feel? Yeah, no, they're hey, quality. When well, I say grit and they're airy yeah. as well. Yeah. This bit here, when you take it off, quality, love it. No, but they are good though, they are here. And check out XG's online store, you won't be disappointed. And oh yeah, let's have a look at Akin's first touch, it's coming on. Yes, Akin! Oh, that my son. <laughs> I can't even lie, that weren't bad. So now John on the ball, the other co-owner of Alex FC. Another very good midfielder. Who lays it on to their number 10, Tom? Who lays it on to their number 9? And that's 4-2! Oh, Hadouken! Hadouken! And what a ball by Tom, their number 10. And their number 9 has been instrumental in everything they've done today. Deservedly gets a goal. So, 20 minutes to go, 4-2, definitely game on. As Aki the gaffer just gets spun and we win a free kick. And then Aki looks like he's going to take the free kick. Wait, Aki, fuck off. Hell, as everyone knows from our club, he ain't hit a free kick on target for two years. But thankfully, Driz has taken control. As he sends one over, as he tried to score a game, but the keeper got his hand to it. But that's another corner to ourselves. With Driz again. And a free header from Wes, but he skies it over the bar. But now, finally, momentum seems to be flowing with us. With LT. He gets the ball back. It's Wes now. Back to LT. But straight at the keeper. So John now on the ball. To so Tom again on the ball. Who slots their captain, Danin. As he gets his cross in, and somehow it's gone in. Hadouken! Hadouken! And as Tom, the Alex FC player, gets his second assist of the game, Mikel won't want to see this hurler again. Bruh. But looking at it, it seems to have come off of his shoulder. And now with 15 minutes left to go, it's 4-3. Definitely squeaky bum time, because anything less than a victory from us, that rules out any chance of getting third. And just have a look at this crucial tackle from Don, as their number seven would have been through on goal. And with 10 minutes left to go, we're proper under the cosh here. And as Wes gets hold of the ball here, Don kicks it out, because LT's gone down. And at the same time, I'm forced to come back on, because Aki can't continue. What happened, bro? Hello. How long have you been on? About five minutes? About seven. <laughs> And LT can't continue, so an injured Addy's forced to come back on. What? He's off? <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't even like, high-five him, because like, he weren't even on long enough. <laughs> 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 
So this is the first time this season that we've had a lack of subs and we're forced to be playing injured players out there. But that's what Vex football's all about. And you just have to roll up your socks sometimes and get on with it. But these last eight minutes, we're going to be proper under it here. Back, as they're coming back, forward yet again. Back. And you can just see how knackered all our players are. And as their number nine gets on the ball, thankfully the ref blows for offside. So let's have a look at this again, shall we? And it was very tight, but I think he was just off. He's got the ball now, he's running with it, plays it through to Adeko. Adeko gets the ball, looks up, plays a short pass to Nutty. Nutty picks up, looks at it, plays it back to Ade. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> hey, that's how he tried his hand at commentary. What do you reckon out there? Should he carry on from me? And whilst I'm waffling on, they're coming forward yet again with Mikel with a great save there. Alex is hitting us, they got the ball. John's got the ball, plays it out to the right back. Oh, another shit kick from the right back. Hey, unlucky, unlucky, but that was terrible. <laughs> Fucking shit. Hey, I'm commentating, man. Right? the man is on the bench. <laughs> it, get, it gets like that sometimes, you know? <laughs> well said, left back. Well said. So we've only six minutes left. Can we hang on in this game? Or will Alex spoil our party and get the draw? Or even the win? But just as I'm saying that, the general passes to Addy. And the rest, they say, is history. Yay! I don't okay. think about it. And out of seemingly nothing, special players like Addy can create a chance out of anything. Hey! Oh, what a brilliant goal by Addy goal. There you go, son. That's why I put him back on the pitch. <laughs> well, that was a light gaffer. He's actually injured, but was forced to come back on because of LT's injury. And with just under two minutes left, we will store our two-goal lead. And it's Chris, but he hits it straight down the keeper's throat. And we're into injury time here, and that goal from Addy seems to have taken the wind out of the sails of Alex, as now it's us pressing looking for a sixth goal. With Drisdale, shoots, it's saved, it's me, it's saved, it's naughty. Off the ball, thought to myself, oh, header it straight in the keeper. And I'm still wondering how this ball didn't go into the back of the net. And that was the last chance of the game as the ref looks at his watch, blows the whistle. Full time, done and dusted. And I just want to thank Alex FC for the game today and big up John and Paul, the Alex FC managers, as I know them well and they've had a very difficult season getting players out on a weekly basis. And it's not highlighted enough the struggles managers have running a Vets team. Also, thanks to our ref Mohammed who had a decent game out there today. Well, we just about got through that, but we got the three points and we move on to next week's game. We're at home to bottom place Old Chigwellians, where we'll be hoping to grab maximum points. And we're actually on a 10-game unbeaten run, so tune in next week to see if we can make it 11. And that's your lot from me this week. I'll see you in the next episode. Ta-da! I'm gonna give it the show your facts!